filming setup and everything that I use to film with, what I do to make my videos. I get a lot of requests on like, like if I could show you guys what I use and stuff and I figured since I just did a makeup collection that I would just kill two birds with one stone and just knock it out. I'm going to list everything down in the bottom bar so you guys can check it out for yourself and look at prices and everything. Honestly, don't think that like what I got is too expensive. There's probably one thing that is like really or two things that are like pretty up there in price, but I will definitely give you guys alternatives on what you guys can use. So if you guys want to see how I film my filming setup and everything, then please keep on watching. All right, so as you guys seen the overview of my room before for my makeup collection, this is my filming setup and how I film. Right now it's a little bit messy because I have like these like bars and stuff, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I film with. So for my background lights, I have these two umbrella lights. And these are actually from eBay, I believe. And I got them for about 40 bucks. Like they were like 38, but they work so well. I'm actually going to change these light bulbs because they give off a really blue like look. And I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to change them to something like extremely bright. So like my background will be really, really white. So I'm going to change those, but I got these off of Amazon, I mean eBay for about $38 and it came with both of them and I absolutely love them. They're like the perfect size and they're so easy to store. So this is actually where I film right here and I got this chair from Walmart for like like 20 bucks and then I got this table from Walmart as well for about $9. So this is what I see and this is a software that comes with um, your Canon when you get it and I use this to focus myself and everything so it's just the EOS utility software you can focus yourself by clicking in here and then um, you can like turn on the brightness a little bit you can do pretty much everything from here and this is what I do when I film just to make sure that I'm in focus because honestly I'm really really blind and I cannot see the viewfinder from up there so this is what I'm looking at the whole time I'm filming. So right here is my camera and my camera just sits on this really cheap tripod. This tripod was really, really cheap. I swear it was about like not even 10 bucks off of Amazon and it holds my camera really, really nicely. Um, it looks really cheap and it's very flimsy but it does the job. Like you really don't need to get a fancy tripod in all honesty. This is my camera and this is the Canon T5i, the EOS Rebel T5i. And um, this is a mic that I got from a camera shop near me. This is the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. This is what I use to film makeup tutorials and um, get those really nice close-up shots. So this is kind of what it, like how far it goes and everything. So that's what I use. And then I also use this lens, which is my absolute favorite. This is a Canon 50 millimeter um, 1.8 um, Mark II lens and this is the lens that everybody asks me about because it gives off a really nice like bokeh or bokeh effect and I just love this lens. I would use it for everything except it's really really close up so I'm thinking about getting like a 30 millimeter just because I feel like that will work a lot better but this is really lightweight and compact so it works for everything and I just love the effect that it gives the background. Now this light right here is the Diva ring light and I actually got this off of Amazon and it was about $120 at the time. I'm not sure if it still is but you guys can see how freaking bright this is. Like I stare at it and it's just so like blinding and everything but it's really really nice it, this thing fell but you can put your um, camera on here instead of using like a separate tripod you can just put camera on here which I probably should do it save me a lot of space but whatevs so yeah that's that and this tripod I actually got from Target and I want to say it was about 35 bucks I could be really really wrong but I think it was about 35 bucks so this one is actually really not good and I'll honestly I probably wouldn't ever buy it again but it works whatever you know because this one couldn't hold this light so I had to get like a bigger one that had a bigger base right here. So yeah that's what I'm using. Oh my room is a mess. So yeah that is basically all the filming equipment that I use um, to film my videos. You guys wanted to see what I use and how I use it so that's what I've been doing. I'm Alright you guys, so that is it for this filming setup video. I hope it was something that you guys wanted to see and everything. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.